Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313, and welcome to episode 27 of my SMP Let's Play series. As you can see, I am in the end. Um, <clears throat> last episode, I was not able to show you my progress due to uh, the servers being down from QToast. I didn't really keep up with what they were tweeting, so I don't know um, how they got it fixed. But like Spike, I don't know how they got it fixed, but I know they got it fixed, so happy days. Um, so, I don't think I've done anything off camera since the last episode. Been a little bit busy. Um, I worked yesterday, and I was at my dad's yesterday and Friday, and just did, you know, a few things, and I've also been messing around with my computer, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but for now, we have our railway. These are spaced every eight blocks so that an unoccupied minecart will be able to make it to the end and back um, because they don't travel as far as an occupied minecraft minecart does so awesome um... let's see let's see um... unconfinable or um... I'm trying to think of his Cry, Cryosol, 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 still don't know exactly how to pronounce his name, um, but he uh, left a comment in the last video saying that he placed down the fences, but it was not letting him place down blocks in some um, areas. Uh, Mr. Pontrels, I'm borrowing some of these building materials, don't worry, I'll pay you back. Um, cracked stone bricks, see everything else has cracked stone bricks. And we have stone that I can use. I think for now this is good. Um, but yeah, he was saying that in some places it wouldn't let him place a block. So that's interesting. We're going to check that out right now. And while we're just going around, we're fixing some stuff. How much um, obsidian do I have? I have a good amount of obsidian. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it. I definitely don't have enough power rails and uh, rails to get across. So gonna have to resolve that in a few seconds. Alright, just let me let me place it's just probably some weird server lag 1.3 glitch. Who knows? Um, speaking of glitches, um, let's go ahead and talk about um, what I mentioned in the last episode of how I wanted to start using the uh, the new snapshots. That would be awesome and I didn't get too much feedback about that. Uh, one person said that there are a lot of glitches and I completely understand what you're saying. Um, however, Minecraft is probably one of the glitchiest games that I know. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that wouldn't actually work. And I experienced this problem um, before 1.3 came out because we tried upgrading to the newest snapshot. And I guess something changed. Um, or sorry, not sorry, nothing changed. But there's a difference in the way that a bucket server handles the nether and a vanilla server handles the nether. So what this means is that the nether would be completely messed up, messed up if we were to use the latest snapshot because since they don't have a, a bucket version out for that yet. So we are unfortunately going to have to wait until there is an official release of whatever that is is that okay um so yeah there's that just figure I'll tell you guys that let's go ahead and start building this um <clears throat> other pathway I'd like to light up this whole oh, did I look at one? Oh, I hey oh yep he's ticked What are you doing? Ah! Stop walking in front of me, idiot. Go. Ah, is that him? He doesn't look ticked off at me. Nah. Ah. David, I hate Enderman. Mmm. Bye bye. Well the way. I 
think I'm safe. I'm really nervous. I'm really nervous. I kind of want to make um, the place where you spawn a whole building. Um, so I think I may do that. That way we don't have to worry about this incident with uh, looking at Enderman and all that. So, Alright, let's continue to build the pathway. Um, so something new that I'm going to try. Something new that I'm going to try. I'm still very nervous about these guys. I've started taking notes about some of the things that I want to mention in my videos. That way my thought process isn't so scattered and random as it usually is. As you all probably know if you watch a lot of my videos. Um, you know, I'll start talking about one thing, and then I'll get completely distracted to talk about another thing, and never completely finish that thought that I had before. Um, so, as part of a thing that I'm trying to do to kind of improve the overall quality of my channel and the videos that are posted on my channel so I'm I've started taking notes about some of the things that I want to mention uh, throughout the video um, now this does not mean that you will never have me being off topic ever again because that's just who I am and that's how I think that's how um, my brain works sadly so if you don't like that I'm sorry but I am trying to improve it as much as I can um, so I started taking notes, and hopefully that will assist me in remembering everything that I want to talk about. Um, that way I don't forget anything in my videos. Speaking of forgetting things, I forgot to mention this last uh, episode, and I really wanted to. Um, I'm currently at... Hold on. Let me find out. Let me go to um, my YouTube channel. I have two new emails. Let's see what they were. See if anyone gets a uh, shout-out. Brian D 313 posted a comment on my mod showcase review for Industrial Craft 2 Part 3, saying that you need to link to Part 4. Thank you for reminding me. Like you, L O L O L, said I meant like I did your steps and all that stuff didn't work. Oh yeah, <laughs> he still didn't do what I told him to do, so I'm going to ignore his comment. Um. But I am currently at 1,980 subscribers. That is 20 subscribers away if you um, are a little bit slower on the math. Um, so 20 subscribers away, which is a little over three days for me. I've only been averaging about eight subscribers per day, which is significantly lower since over the summer I was used to getting about 20 subscribers a day. And to drop from that to eight, a little disappointing, but I kind of understand because everyone's, you know, in school and all that, so I am expecting less views and less subscribers per day. So yeah, it says about three days until I hit 2,000 subscribers. If you want me to hit that sooner, go ahead and share this video to everyone you know, your grandmother, your uncle, your aunt, your cousin, whatever, and uh, it'll greatly help me out. Um, but yeah getting very close to that 2,000 subscriber mark. I'm very excited about it. And I think I'm so excited that I'm going to um, going to do another giveaway. It's not going to be a Minecraft account, um, but it is still going to be something pretty cool. So that's definitely something that you're going to want to check out and uh, kind of keep up with my channel. Um, so if you are seeing this for the first time, um, and I have not hit 2,000 subscribers yet. You're going to want to make sure you're subscribed to me. That way you don't miss any of my videos. And when I do upload the video announcing the contest, you can go ahead and get it. Um, but that's all the details that I'm going to give away for that because I still want it to be slightly suspenseful. Uh, let's see, other things. My computer, I mentioned it in the beginning of the episode. And I feel like, now that I have this whole list of things that I want to talk about, I shoot through things like that. I'm just like, bam, on to the next subject. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, <clears throat> by the way, in case you haven't noticed, my voice may sound a little bit different. It may sound just a little bit raspy. Um, I had to take a drink. <clears throat> I don't know 100% why this is. Excuse me. 
um, but I don't know 100% why this is. Um, I mean, my throat doesn't hurt anymore. Uh, if you, you know, kept up with my channel, you would know that my throat was hurting me like a while ago. But it no longer hurts, which is nice. But um, now it's just really raspy and a little difficult to talk. You probably will hear my voice crack a few times during this video. Then you also just kind of hear my voice kind of go away. Go away. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, I apologize for that, but you know, there's not much I can do. This is my little area that I've been getting a lot of end stone from. I have a whole bunch in my base. Um, it's just, you know, you never know when you're going to need some good building material. And it's pretty cool. Even though it's actually the same texture as cobblestone is, only inverted, uh, negative, and then just in different color scheme. Which is pretty interesting. Wow. Stuff it here. Alright, we are home. Awesome. No new notes on my, uh, my base. Nope, still this. Still the bread in there. Okay. I'm gonna need to get more obsidian fairly soon here. Just go ahead and show you how well this works. Pretty proud of it. All you have to do is you go in here, lay your redstone down, and then you go up here, you press the button. Did you see that? That was very odd. That is very weird, actually. Um, and now I have three empty buckets. That happened one time when I was doing this. Um, somehow it pulsed twice, and then it just so it puts out the lava, and then everything's reversed and all screwed up. Um, but it's very, very interesting. Anyways, I'll just get more lava. It's down one more level. Um, so yeah, I'm going to need a lot more obsidian. And then I'm also going to need um, a lot more rails, which I think I have to actually cook up iron for that, um, because I am out of regular iron ingots, but I have plenty of ores um, to finish this project. I am going to need more gold, though, which is going to be difficult to um, do, because I mean, when you're mining and you're just going through, you're going through a cave system and you're mining, you get a whole bunch of gold in no time when you're not paying attention to it. However, once you start paying attention to it and you go looking specifically for gold, you find less. I'm pretty sure that's like a proven fact. You just don't, you don't find as much gold when you're actually looking for it. Um, other than that, it's just one of those resources that you can't get rid of. Um, but I have managed to get rid of all my gold, so we're going to have to look for more. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. <laughs> oh, jeez. So I'll buy more obsidian off camera. Oh my god. Let's go ahead, let's uh, replant all these seeds. I don't know why I put that in there. It uses a little bit over three stacks of seeds to replant everything. Oh, we need our hoe. Can you damage crops just by dropping off a one, a one high drop? I'm curious to that. I don't know. If it ha like has to be an actual jump or what it has to be, I don't know. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and replant this, and let's go ahead and move on to that next subject. Um, so with my computer, I mentioned it last time. You know how I've been having a lot of problems, and I'm not going to go over those problems again because most of them are resolved, um, except for the fact that I'm not using my new hard drive. At the moment, I'm using my old hard drive. Um, today, I spent about three hours, three and a half hours, um, completely erasing the hard disk and erasing everything that was on it, um, just in case I corrupted something on it. And that's the reason why I wasn't able to um, restore um, regularly without being interrupted. Um, so I deleted everything, and then you know that that got finished when I got home because I went to my girlfriend. So it was kind of my computer was doing its thing while I was at home. Oh, sorry. 
And, um, you know, so when I came home, it was finished, which is awesome. Um, and I could have, you know, restored it tonight, but I didn't want to be up too late. And I also want to get a video out for you guys. Um, that way you guys weren't videoless for um, today. So I figured, all right, I'll just swap out the hard drives again for like the 20th time. And I'll go ahead and just um, do a system restore or system reinstall uh, tomorrow. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. So wish me luck for that. And hopefully everything works. If it doesn't, I'm returning the hard drive. I'm also thinking, um, because I'm kind of just done with this laptop, when I bought the laptop, I knew that I wanted to play a lot of video games, but I didn't think that I would be doing an everyday thing where I do all this crazy rendering and my computer's on almost 24-7. If it's not rendering, it's uploading a video or I'm playing a game. And it's just very intensive on a laptop, and most laptops are not meant for that. So, you know, I'm not really surprised that the laptop is kind of going to crap lately. Um, you know, it's kind of something that, that I expect. Um, so I was thinking about calling Toshiba and complaining about just some of the things that I've been experiencing and seeing if there's anything that they could do about it. Um, I think I'm already past that point in the warranty state where I can get a, get my money back. Um... It's like 90 days or something, but I I'm, I think I might ask just in case. You know, you never know if you get like a very nice representative or something like that. So, it's always nice to do. I'm going to get these guys to all come together right now. And uh, we're going to do some breeding. You breed. Oh, look at all the particles. It's insane. You breed. Whoa, lag spike, particles, galore. Awesome. Look at all these baby sheep, they're so so beautiful. Sorry about the lag spikes, guys. My computer's just probably overheating and dying. Can you feed a sheep twice? Let's find this out. Yep, you can feed it as many times as you want, so I'm actually probably wasting a lot of um, wheat by holding down the right click. You guys, you guys get some? You get some? Yeah, get some. Um, so yeah, there's my computer story. Um, once that is finished, um, if it works, hopefully I'll be able to upload a whole bunch of mod spotlights and stuff. Lately I've been doing, um, a lot of mod installation tutorials, um, which is very nice. Um, I'm happy to get those out um, because a lot of the mods are starting to update to 1.3, which is very good for me because, um, what the hell, game? Turning particles off. Particles! All off. Now I don't know which ones I've been and which ones I haven't. I guess we'll find out. Alright, you know, that that's pretty much good enough for now. And it's still not helping any. Oh, lag. Alright, let's get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get away, sheep, get away. Wow. Ah. Take my power one bow. Take it. Take it. You too. Take it. Take it. Awesome. Alright, so hopefully that lag situation is under control for the most part. No, it's not. Oh, god damn it. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. Hopefully that solves something. I just kind of logged out and logged back in. Oh, wow, we should really turn all those things back on. And then turn lava dripping off. Okay. Awesome. Uh, so back to what I was saying. Let's I like saying something about getting my money back for my laptop. So, but um, yeah, back to that topic. I wasn't prepared to do that much, or to kind of tax my computer as much as I have been. Um, so yeah, what I'd like to do is I like to get my money back for this, and then use that money, um, and build my own computer. Then possibly, 
even save up like 400 bucks or so and just get a cheap little laptop that just so I could have it, uh, you know, because I will be starting college pretty soon. And I also want something to bring to my dad since I don't feel like bringing my whole computer if I do build one to my dad. So that's that story. So what do I need to do? I need to get rid of this lag is what I need to do. That's what I really need to do. Um, and there's so many things that I want to do. I really want to get started. God damn it, game. You're pissing me off. This, this is ridiculous. I shall be right back. Alright, so did that solve the problem? I don't know. Someone just joined the game, so I won't be able to sleep and skip the night. Doesn't look like it's solved it. Still getting a little bit of lag. But, let's move on. Let's move on. Err. I'm recording. Just to kind of tell them. It's always nice to give them a heads up. So, what I want to make is a automatic cocoa bean farm. And something different that I'm going to attempt is I'm going to attempt to come up with a design on my own. Now granted, when I do this, it will not be good. It will not be pretty. <laughs> but hopefully it should work. So basically what I want to happen is I want there to be a log, which we can get from over here. Alrighty, I want there to be a log, we have our log, we're just kind of taking a break from other things, and we're doing something because I want cocoa beans um, as part of a decoration, I have an idea on how to incur incorporate them into this tower, and I literally just thought about it a few minutes ago, so hopefully it's good. So let's go ahead, clean up our inventory a little bit, Oops. it's a lot of bone meal there. Um, let's see, put this stuff away, and we have uh, just a few minutes left, um, probably around 10-ish, might make this a longer episode if I have to, if need be, but for now, I don't know. So we are going to need two dispensers, and what I want to happen here that should be good. What I want to happen here is I want to be able to plant a cocoa bean. Alright, so I'm going to plant a cocoa bean on a log. It's going to trigger bud switch, which will then go ahead and activate the other dispenser that will give me bone meal. When I put the bone meal on the um, on the planted cocoa bean, it gives me a piece of cocoa bean and then it also moves the wood block with a piston um, so that it harvests the cocoa bean. Alright, so that is going to be the goal. Now there's going to be one thing that I look up for this and this is a uh, pistonless bud switch. Um, something new that has been introduced in, um, in 1.3. Um, since you can place redstone on top of uh, upside down half slabs. So I am going to look up the video on how to do that because I'm not that much of a genius. Um, and then of course I will give credit where credit is due. And um, everything will be nice. So I'm just going to get a few of the things that I need. Um, it shouldn't be too many things. Just some dispensers, a few pistons, redstone, half slabs, repeaters. And um, that should be pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and do that, look up the video, and I'll be back in a second. All right, so I am back here. Oops, hit my mouse. Don't ask what happened. You don't have to worry about it. Put these feathers in here. There we go. 
All right, so I looked at the video and I got um, a nice tutorial. The person that I'm getting the tutorial from is Native Visions, who has a lot of really good uh, stuff on his channel. Very good with redstone. Awesome. So many mobs. This is why I don't like nighttime. Ah, I missed. He moved. Ha, got in the way. He just took a bullet for you. There you go. Alrighty. Obsidian gen at my base. Alrighty, so, <clears throat> I was just talking to them too about, you know, what I was recording and all that. So here's where I'm going to have it, and it's going to be fairly simple. Um, I do need some half slabs though, but I can get them from here. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, obsidian generator is fun, and I don't like dealing with endermen. Alright, so we have our half slabs. I'm going to delete, I'm just going to put all this stuff on the ground to despawn and to never be seen again. It's honestly just annoying me. Eggs, you go in here. It's a lot of eggs. Alrighty, so here is what's going to happen. And I don't have all this planned out, so yeah. We need stone. Just just for building material, I guess. So we need to make something right here. I want the front of this. Basically right here is where I want the half slab. Oh, jeez. All this animal breeding, it's going to make me have to um increase the server strength. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's not where I want it. So you have that right there, we have that right there. Dig some of this out. <laughs> I finished my sheep jail farm. Cry has a thing for torturing animals, so, yeah. So the way this works is we take a redstone torch, and we take some redstone. We put the redstone down like so. Alright, see how that kind of thinks it's connecting? Well, it's really not, because this kind of acts like glowstone in that it doesn't go down. It, the signal cannot travel down. But it still thinks it can by going around here. So then when we have this torch, torch right here, it actually turns off, yet the redstone is still on. Very odd. Um, it's definitely a glitch, and it may be fixed in a future patch. However, this has actually um, existed for a while. Only you weren't able to use half slabs, and you could just use red or uh, glowstone. Um, but this is pretty cool. So now, if you would notice, whenever I place a block right there. It's odd. There we go. First time I guess we just didn't see it. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we place it down. All good. Hmm. So what I think is going to have to happen this is going to be difficult. Plant the cocoa beans. Plant the cocoa beans. Plant the cocoa beans. Grow the cocoa beans. Grow the cocoa beans. Grow the cocoa beans. Looks like this isn't a reliable option. Well, that's saddening. I was really hoping that would work. So now we're going to have to go with one that uses a piston. And I'm pretty sure I just wasted a whole bunch of time on that. So we may have to just get started on this one, and then in the next episode, maybe we'll finish it 
Um, I don't know. Stop doing that. Oh. It's very odd. I don't know. This may be something that I have to look up, because I'm not the best with redstone. Alright? I'm trying to come up with something on my own. I'm trying to come up with a design on my own, and it's just not working, as you can see. Um, basically, the way that a piston or a bud switch works is when the block diagonal from a piston, this one, is being powered, the piston will go off only if an update uh, happens near it. Alright, so... Bam. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, but it'll... It'll only... The piston will update when a block is updated next to it. So it extends. What I wanted to happen is I wanted this torch to activate this block, which goes into this signal, which turns off this torch, which turns off this thing, so that the piston is no longer powered diagonally, and just retracts. Um, but obviously, I'm retarded. And that won't work. So in the next episode, I'll do a little bit of research, and just get the bud switch part done, and then maybe after that, then... I'll try and get my own design for the cocoa bean farm. Because, you know, it's always nice to do something unique that, you know, is your own doing. And it would just make me feel better if I come up with this on my own. So, yeah. I want to thank you for watching. This has been episode 27. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, all that fun stuff. Don't forget about my 2,000 subscriber special coming up. If you want it to come sooner... Go ahead and tell everyone that you know, and tell them to subscribe to me. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.